In this video, we will see how to draw an ellipse using the concentric method. Here are the instructions to draw. The major axis of an ellipse is 100 mm and the minor axis is 60 mm long. Draw an ellipse by the concentric circle method. We have to draw an ellipse whose measure axis, which this length is 100 mm or 10 cm, and the minor axis, which is this length is 60 mm or 6 cm long. To draw this ellipse, we have to draw two concentric circles of 100 mm and 60 mm diameters. To draw, first, mark a center. This center will be a common center for both the circles. We will name this center as O. Next, to draw a 100 mm diameter circle, the radius of a circle is half times that of its diameter. Take the compass, take 50 mm or 5 cm length from the scale, and draw a circle using this point O as a center. To draw a 60 mm circle, the radius will be 3 cm. So, take 30 mm or 3 cm length from the scale, keep the compass in this center O, and draw a circle. This bigger circle will be a major axis of an ellipse, and this smaller circle will be a minor axis. Next, we need to divide this circle into 12 equal divisions to get a smoother curve. We already know that this circle has 360 degrees, so we divide this 360 by 12, which will be 30 degrees. Therefore, each sector will be 30 degrees. To divide this circle into 12 parts, first, we will draw a horizontal and a vertical line. Make sure that the angle between these two lines is 90 degrees. By using the protector, divide this circle into 12 parts, mark 30 degrees here, next 60 degrees, 90 degrees, like this go on increasing, by 30 degrees. Next, 120 degrees, 150 degrees, and 180 degrees. Next, using scale and taking this point as the reference, draw the line from the circumference of the circle to the center, and extend it to the other side of the circumference of the circle. Similarly, do for all the points, Since we divided the circle into 12 parts, next, we will mark the points on the circumference of the bigger circle. First point, second point, third, and so on till twelfth point. Similarly, we will mark the points on the circumference of the smaller circle, first point, one dash, second point, two dash, three dash, and so on till twelve dash. After this, we will draw vertical lines from the points of the bigger circle. Remember, all the lines should be inside the bigger circle, they should not come outside. Keep the roller scale, take this line as a reference, move the scale to points 9 and 5, and draw the lines like this. Similarly, draw the line at points 8 and 6. Next, at points 11 and 3. And last at points 12 and 2. length of these lines should be approximately till their corresponding point on the smaller circle. After this, we will draw horizontal lines from the points on the circle. Here, see that the lines should be outside the diameter of the smaller circle. To draw, take the roller scale, take this horizontal line as a reference, and move the roller scale to these points, 8 and 12, draw the horizontal lines, and join with these lines. Similarly, do for points 9 and 11. Next, draw the horizontal lines from points 2 and 6, and join them with these vertical lines. Similarly, draw horizontal lines at points 3 and 5. Now, do the naming for these intersection points. The name for this point will be P2, since it is the intersection point of 2 and 2 dash. This point will be P3. Here, the horizontal line will be a point, Therefore, this P4 will come at 4 dash, P5, P6. Here, a vertical line will be a point. So, therefore, P7 will come at point 7. Similarly mark P8, P9, P10, P11, P12, and P1. To get the ellipse, draw the curve passing through these points. Before drawing the curve, do the naming for the major and minor axis. We will name this point on the major axis as A and this point as B. Similarly, we will name this point on the minor axis as C, and this point as D. Now join all P points to get the ellipse. 
For joining the point we will make use of French curves to get a smoother curve. After drawing the curve mark the dimensions of the major axis as 100 mm, and the minor axis as 60 mm. I hope you have understood how to draw an ellipse, using the concentric circle method. If so, click on the like button, and if you are new to ADTW Learn, click on the subscribe button, so that you get my latest videos first.